Slides 4 is the new version of one of the most popular frameworks to build a beautiful website quickly. The Slides 4 application has been updated with dozens of new features and a new design. If you want to read more details, open the change log page and you'll find what we have prepared for you. In this video, we'll show you what's new in the Slides 4 app in a fast mode. Here, we are on the main page of the Slides app. It is a very intuitive tool, but if you want to learn more about it, you can click this informational icon and open the manual. Here, you will find all the features in one detailed documentation page. Also, here you can see some nice examples of UI interaction and not only, and a few ready-made templates if you don't have time to build one. We'll show you these tools later in this video. Let's go to see the Slides 4 app in action. The newly redesigned page contains a general navigator where you can see all the sections. The first section is Slides. Here, we have pre-designed slides, which are classified by categories, for example, header, feature, form, video, price. If you want more, click these three dots icon and you will discover other types. If you prefer a more minimalistic design, you can choose the white style of slides. All designs automatically convert in a minimal design layout without background images and colors. Each slide has an option to preview the slide and copy the HTML. For example, click here to preview this slide. Here is the live preview of slides in our browser, and you can test the functionality and how it works. Now, click here to copy the HTML. The code is saved into your clipboard. You can copy the HTML of the desired slide and paste it in your website if you need it. Now we'll start to build a website to show you more new features and how to work with them. Click on the desired slide. In the right corner, you will see three buttons. The first button contains all the selected slides. The second is for preview the built website, and the third is for downloading the created website. We'll continue to choose the desired slides. We select a few different slides to show you the examples and some functionality. Now, click the first button in the right corner to open the panel, which contains all the selected slides. Here, you can remove selected slides, duplicate the slides, and change the slides to minimalistic style. Also, you can change the slide location with a drag-and-drop functionality. Let's move forward and check the next section called Animation. Here, we have introduced a few new animations. You can change between 10 animation styles. We have tried to create different styles of animations, so you can set up a custom animation for your needs. Let's preview the default style. We'll scroll to see the slides and effects. Go back to the Slides app, and here we have Effect Settings. Here, you can quickly set up an animation if you want to change the speed, animated elements, easing, direction, and scroll of your chosen animation effect. Scroll down, and here we have the Panels section. You can choose the navigation menu of your website. The same here. You can preview it in the browser and copy the HTML. Panels also have their settings, so you can change here the type of background and how the panel will be visible on your website. For example, the navigation menu can be hidden on the scroll. The same thing is bottom panel section. Here, you can choose the footer menu for your website in the same style with navigation top menu. The same settings are located here. You can set up different settings for each panel if you want. Click the Preview button and see how the panels look on our website. Both panels look good. The next section in our app is Navigation. 
You can choose between navigation types and set up the navigation in different styles. We'll change our navigation from dots style to line style in this example. We'll see a preview of this navigation later. Next is styles. This is an absolutely new section and is the most important update in the Slides app. Using this section, you can change the style of typography on your website and preview directly in the windows below. You can see how the text is changed depending on the style I use. If you want to customize the typography for your needs, you can choose the custom settings where you can change the base font, title font, and button font. We will select now different fonts to show you the changes. Click the preview button and see the live website. It has the new custom typography style. The style is applied to all the slides on our website. Go back to the app and let's continue the exploration of the Slides app. Scroll down to Additional Settings. Here we have a few new features that can be useful for developers. You can download the SVG library, optimize assets, activate preloader, move script to the body of the code, simplified mobile version, and add anchor links. Each feature has a detailed explanation, so you can easily understand how they work. The online app is easy to use, but if you want to dive more deeply of how to customize and how is created the slides from inside, you can read the manual. This documentation contains all the details you need and the code examples with UI elements. Also, in the footer of this page, you will find a collection of examples of code and ready-made solutions of how to integrate different UI and services with slides. For example, with the animation, you have an example of how animation works. Let's try the background with a video. The same. You can download the example and use it in your project. Go back and let's try background with animation elements. The images appeared with a nice animation one by one. Also, you can add to your forms a custom checkbox with an animation. Now, I want to see how it looks in the Instagram example. Here is our web page with an embedded shot from our Instagram account. If you want to add a custom sidebar to your website, use the sidebars example and the desired ready-made sidebar. You can change the size and position of your sidebar. Another useful example is the preloader progress bar. It is a useful UI element if your website contains a large amount of information and needs to be fully loaded before to be accessed by visitors. We'll not review all examples because we'll spend too much time, but you can do it by yourself and explore all the examples. Now go back to our first page and click the Templates menu item. Here you have a few ready-made templates created using the Slides app. Just download and customize them. Okay, this was a short demonstration of how the Slides app works and what you can do with it. Use Slides to create beautiful websites optimized for all existing devices and screens.